Wow, are you ready for World War III? Look what's happening right next to Israel. This is right next to Israel with all the USA military bases and all the Russian military bases facing up with against each other, ready to rock, right? This is Syria. It borders, right, the Golan Heights. It borders Israel, right? So the Russians were there already, and that's why Syria has had all this civil war lately, right, with the Kurds and all that, because Russia has its only its only naval base in the Mediterranean, in this area, in this Lakia, right, port inside Syria. And now US has been occupying part, the northeastern parts, right? And they're ready to rock. But that's not all. Look what US has brought to the party. In order to help Israel in the fight against Hamas, the United States has just sent over four carrier, aircraft carrier strike groups, right? Two super carrier strike groups, Right, in, and like 70 ships, frigates, destroyers, right? On, on top of that, another 30 from NATO countries such as Germany, France, even Australia sending some of them into, this is the Mediterranean area. Remember that map I showed you guys at the start? Well, the Russian military base, the only one inside, inside the Mediterranean is right here, right? And Ukraine's here, so the Russian Black Sea Navy is here, right? All they have to do is get through to Turkey, right? And they're here as well. So they're ready to party from both sides, ready to rock. And let's not forget, underneath the water, there's a lot of nuclear submarines, which the media cannot see, so they cannot report either. And I've been telling people, this is looking like 50% chance of World War III. A lot of people say it isn't. They just don't know the facts of what's going on. Most of it is actually pretty well reported. I mean, the, even the Pentagon tells you what they're bringing, right? <clears throat> USS supercarrier Ford and Eisenhower, and then two Volto aircraft carriers, USS Bataan and, you know, Kavor. That's not all. Without China, it's not a World War III. So what's happening on the Chinese front? So here, six Chinese Navy warships stationed in the Middle East amid US's heavy presence. But what's the US doing as a reply? So, of course, the U.S. sends two aircraft carrier strike groups into waters surrounding China. USS Carl Vinson deploys for Indo-Pacific with USS Ronald Reagan in South Korea. Let's have a look at the map, shall we? As I said a couple of months ago, World War III probably has already started. You're just not aware of it yet. So, it started probably with Ukraine. This is the European theater of war, just like World War II and World War I. Then in the Middle East, now, basically, this is where Israel is and Gaza and Hamas has become the second flashpoint. Number three, and this is where the Super Bowl comes in, right? Between what people think will be China and the US will probably happen right here. That's Taiwan Island. But I disagree. I don't think Taiwan is going to be the flashpoint for World War III. I do agree that the third and final showdown, the Super Bowl, right? will happen in Asia, right? Somewhere probably involving US and China. It's kind of like when you watch a UFC fight, right? The undercards go first and then the heavyweights, right? The, the, the main event happens last, right? The big show. I don't think it's going to be Taiwan. There's a much more obvious, much more obvious flashpoint. It's North Korea and South Korea, if you've been watching the news at all. The leader of North Korea, right, just flew in to meet Putin about a month ago, right? And these guys, these two guys almost never meet. So what happens next? What do we do in World War III in order to survive? What to invest in? Gold, Bitcoin, US stocks, Chinese stocks? Follow Pablo for more updates.